Ah oh dear, just some other little bits and bobs I thought I'd mention because I'm doing videos and it's just, as I'm doing things I'm, I'm thinking, oh should I mention this or that. So is it, I think it was, um, I'm pretty sure it was Magic and the Occult mentioned about uh, it being like a Willy Wonka everlasting gobstopper. <laughs> this work. And uh, there's an element of, I've, I've been feeling that there is, of, um, Yeah, like this, like this guided tour. It's been like a tour of the uh, Willy Wonka sort of chocolate factory. You know? <laughs> There's an element of that, you know. That, um, you know, symbolically, if that was like uh, symbolically speaking, you know, the the the, the, the story. Um, right, and another thing I've noticed is it, these two different energies. Um, in a sense, it's like the astral energies and the, the water energies, but it's the spiritual energies and the earth energies. <sighs> like sort of coming together, this sort of like alchemical marriage, so in a sense. Um, well, the, the two becoming one. Um, Okay, where's I going with this? Right, so it's like the uh, the macabre, you know, like you get the, these these diagrams of the macabre with like these two interlocking sort of pyramids. Tetrads or um, tetrahedrons, usually two interlocking tetrahedrons. Um, and so the uh, the six pointed star is like um, a symbolic representation of this um, to these two interlocking like tetrahedron. Um, which is called the macabre, and it's these these energies of your spirit and body coming together and joining together, and they become like this flying vehicle. And I I was sensing like this because also with this um, this astral stuff going on, this astral body thing and the arc stuff. It's funny because the word arc because it connects with like this arc of the covenant. You hardly ever hear that word arc, do you? It's the arc of the covenant, and then Noah's arc. And then also this the, the the arc that you get um oh dear what is it bit like bit like an electrical arc like between two different nodes like nodes of uh, electrical appliances and then you get an, uh, a spark which they call an arc um, an arc it also is is connected with the word arch and it's, so it's connected with the like, archery. And um, like the bow, like the bow is like an arc. Um, right, yeah, and there's like a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. <laughs> right, so anyway, uh, yeah, so there's all this other stuff going on about arcs and. Um, I'm sure there's no coincidence. They use that, that's the word that's used. You know, they didn't call it a boat or, or a box or whatever. <laughs> so anyway, I'm not really exactly sure where I was going with this. I think I just wanted to talk about the macabre. Oh yeah, and the uh, when you get this astral stuff going on, you can really feel the energy buzzing. You know, connecting with your, your crown chakra and your base, your, 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 your below the feet and your hands, but also further out from that, you know, these energy points that are connecting and um, like an engine, like these, like the engine of that, of the thing on um, uh, the Matrix films, you know, like with their hovercraft, similar to that. It's got this similar kind of feeling of buzzing. Sort of electrical energy and uh, like 
a large space around you, you know, that you're inside something like a big thing, but which also seems to be able to shrink down <laughs> and become like a wand or something, you know, uh, a bit like that, um, you know, like the monkey it has got the wand from heaven, you know, and he, he can make it into like a little matchstick and put it behind his ear or, or use it as a toothpick even, you know, or, um, it grows into like a staff that he can use, like or it, or he can grow, make it grow really big, you know, and it can potentially grow, you know, almost indefinitely in size. So and that's some stuff, more stuff about that, you know. <laughs> that's the interesting stuff, about, uh, interesting thing about all this stuff in the mental plane. It's it's a lot of it's programming. It's the machine world, and. It's not necessarily, there's all these transformations that occur and things aren't necessarily what they appear to be. Um, this is one of the reasons why we're taking time and patience with it all and doing as little as possible because we just want to take, use time as our guide, you know, that guide us through all this stuff and, and to do as little as possible and listen to what the, the beings tell us to do and, and suggest to us and that and be patient with it. Because uh, I think that's the way to learn as much as possible and to make progress. And you know, to me, this is like what the Jedi, Jedi training, you know, it's the young ones that, that want to get ahead. Ideally, if you want to do this work, you, you've already done a lot of training. You're already like a Jedi anyway, you know. <laughs> You're just being reminded of it and it's just like, oh yeah, someone's idea of a, uh, a Jedi like program. So something for for amusement, but um, yeah. To me, it's like it it, it works, but it, there's there's probably a case you might have been already been thinking of the emperor's new clothes, you know, where it's all just my imagination and that. And uh, you know, I thought I'd mention that because I'm I'm quite fully aware of that, or at least quite aware of it anyway. <laughs> you know, and that's something you know about this. The, the salt aspect of, of the ingredient of um, the alchemical work, you you still need that pinch of salt of, 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 to not take it all too seriously, you know. However well it seems to be going, however real a lot of this stuff might seem, uh, you still got to think right. Well, it's, it could just be my imagination, you know, etc. etc. Although you know, physical aspects seem to work in, in all in tune and uh, other things, so you know. It's like you've got a really well. If it's only a pinch of salt, mind, but it's still a pinch of salt. It's important for the flavour, and that, however, to mix the ingredients together. <laughs> okay, I'm just rambling now. Uh, I just keep forgetting stuff. I just want to like, oh, there's a whole load of other stuff I need to add, and but I'll, I'll just have to wrap it up because I don't know where it will end. I'll just have to keep adding more and more stuff. But just bear that in mind. There's probably loads of stuff that you haven't heard that's relevant. But you could, that's part of doing the work yourself, you know. So you find out your own load of stuff that goes with it to make your work, your own ingredients. 